Hello, everybody. <clears throat> hey, Gina. Welcome, welcome to my studio. Ooh, lovely day today. Hope you're having a great day also and a creative one. Today I'm going to be doing some jelly printing um, with the Jelly Arts um, printing plate. This is the only one that I've ever used, so I know there's a few other ones out there, so you could probably give them a try. Um, they range basically around the same. Um, I did buy a new, another one. This is a 9 by 12 so I had a... Um, I think this one's a nine by seven or something like that. Hey, Dot. Candy? Yes, I got it right. <laughs> I, so I just got this one, and I did notice, and like everything else, that is quite a bit thinner than my original jelly arts plate so yeah a little bit thinner hey janet so i, I thought i would like to try doing two at once so maybe rolling on this one and putting it on this one I don't know. We'll see. We'll play today. <clears throat> hey, Ali. So a brand spanking new virgin one. <laughs> hey, Linda. Good to see everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Beautiful day here. Um, so I'm going to be kind of experimenting today. Getting messy. That'll please Eileen, I'm sure. So I've got all my papers ready. <laughs> so... Actually, I'm going to show you a few things that I've been doing first. And um, let's see if I can remember where I put everything. Yes. <clears throat> um, the last time I did the gel prints, jelly painting of um, plants. Um, I left before you guys got to see these because I continued after I stopped filming. <laughs> I was in a roll. But remember, I was having a little bit of a problem um, getting a, a fairly clear um, image of the plants. I'll bring you in a little bit so you can see this. So this here, this is what I did afterwards. And so I, I did a little bit of experimenting. Why wasn't I getting a clear um, image? Come on, focus, focus. And I think it was because the, the amount of paint that I was putting on there wasn't enough so you really have to plaster on the paint if you're going to do the um, plant printing and that seems to give you a nicer image if you put a lot more on you have to take quite a bit off around it but make sure you have enough on so that the 
the plants, when you lift them, it leaves enough of a print. <clears throat> so this had a bit of uh, blue through it too. So you get a, a lot nicer print. That's got a little bit of gold in it. This side just um, threw in some gold. Uh, actually, it was yellow ochre paint in the centers. And then I placed the flowers into the paint. Thanks, Eileen. Hey, Kat. Or Dar, I think it is. And here I've actually positioned them so that I could maybe draw a face in here or I could write that type of thing. Um, I, I know I did give you some of these on prints. I can look. If you guys want more, I can all I can put up some more if you want. Just let me know. And this one had a little bit of white. It'd be good for Halloween. <laughs> and that's got a little bit of gold in it. This is kind of neat. Um, I think that was a flower I put on, if I remember correctly. Oops. So it gives you quite a bit of detail. It's funny, my camera won't, there we go. Focus. And this is nice too. It kind of looks rustic to me. Hey, Joan. This is a pretty one. Well, that's what it was. It, this was the Queen Anne's Lace. Come on, focus, focus. Hmm. Why isn't it wanting to focus? So if you want, you should print out if you want. This is those. And then, of course, when you do these, because you have to use um, deli wrap or tissue to get all the paint out, you, you're left with these. And I love these, too, because you can leave the background and put it on a, a piece of paper, colored paper, or printed paper and then you have this showing through it so whatever you want to have show through I really like that idea uh, here's one that it's got a the white that was taken off of it now you can reprint over these also if you don't like them just use them again for taking out the, the paint so i had a bunch of these or you could you could actually draw in them oh i know what they're cool ones like this you could actually doodle in them do a zentangle in them. I think that would be really awesome. Hey, Gail. <laughs> so I thought these were kind of cool. 
just a multi-colored one there. Brown and Yeah, why not? I think that'd be cool. Janet, you should try this. Take some of your tomato leaves and print them. Because <laughs> you just need the outline of them. It's, it's not necessarily getting the color off of them. You just want the outline. So that was that. And then um, I've been doing a little bit more on my folders. Let's see. This one, June. Okay, so this is my June folder. Okay, my camera is all wonky. Just a minute. I gotta get in the middle. There, that's better. This is my June folder. So I haven't done much else in here. I may, I may go back to it and finish it. And then that was the back and I added this on here. And this here is actually gel medium that I colored. And you only need a very small amount of um, color in the medium. And then it um, it leaves a really nice. This was the the gloss gel medium, but it's very raised and textured. So you can you know make any color you want. You just add just a dab of color. And you could add, you actually use magicals in it. You could use watercolor paint, whatever. So I did that, and then for next month coming I did this and I did this off off uh, stream so this will be my next one for July because we have a ton of or I have a ton of lilies this year ah Cass have you ever used plaster or plaster Paste. Yeah, yeah, I've used plaster before. <laughs> Not necessarily on a canvas. But I, yeah, I have done stuff on canvases, actually. Um, <laughs> mostly on my walls when I'm taping. <laughs> Doing drywall. <laughs> um, it's easy to use. You can get, diff you can also get different drying um, uh, like you can get some real fast setting ones and slow drying ones you can color it you can mold with it um, actually I did a really neat canvas for a friend of mine and it was all plaster and I used different um objects to imprint in it and then did a, um, a gloss medium sealer on it and then painted on it and then wiped it off and then did another sealer added a, a different color paint and it's really cool I'll have to do one of those for you guys it makes a really neat um, three-dimensional thing it's more um, abstract. You could do uh, 
flowers or whatever you want, but I like the abstract of it and you can paint it. And, um, it's more like glazing over multiple times with different colors. So you get a different effect in the crevices that you've um, imprinted. And then, uh, <clears throat> so this one, I did use a little stamp that I had. This was um, molding paste that I just colored. A little bit of uh, putty, greenish color to it. And then put some stamps in it. This is um, acrylic. Um, I did the background with uh, Lindy's stamp um, sprays. You can see the... Yeah. Uh, there's a, there is a blue tinge to it. If you see right in here, you can see that blue. So it's kind of modeled, depending on how you look at it or how it goes. Deli paint, tomato leaves. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to crush them. You just you just want the imprint of them, Janet. <laughs> okay, my chat. Am I still going? Someone say something to make sure my chat's still going because I haven't seen anybody say anything. See the clock still going? Are you guys still there? Or is my chat gone? My chat's gone. Okay. Restore chat? Nope. Guess I'll have to do pop out. All right, you're just talking like a crazy woman over here. What? <laughs> now, my chat on the slide's gone, so I have to have pop out chat. That's okay. Uh, good morning, Nana, Nash, Jean. Every, anyone that I miss, Karen? Because <laughs> I couldn't see you on chat. <laughs> I can see now, Eileen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, what else did I do? Is that then what I did? Uh, this is just a little sneak of what we're doing in the blooming artist um, lesson 
on the last Friday of this month, which is the 31st. So um, if you haven't seen that, go on the community tab uh, membership and I'll get um, all the information for that class is up there. So we are doing this. And this is, um, I did mine on a file folder. You can do it on a <clears throat> canvas if you want, or just a big piece of paper, whatever you want. And this is uh, mixed media and it's acrylic paint, some glaze, glazing of um, different colors, also marker and scrapbook paper. So we're going to do this and you can um, play with any of your old scrapbook papers or what I'm going to do today is make a bunch of jelly prints for this type of um, art work. So you can do different um, hills, you could do rows of farmer's field, you could do cliffs rock, all kinds of stuff with it. Thanks, Barbara. So that's what we're doing this week. So let's get back. I think that's all I had for you to talk about. There's a few things I've got on the go for you guys. So I'm going to play with two jelly plates today. It's a little bit wonky, but I guess it'll do. There. So I want to use a bunch of different stuff. Just not stencils. I want to use things you can find in the store or in your kitchen. Uh, wrapping of some sort for your vegetables, that type of thing. This is a cutting plate, but you could use this because it's got a textured background. Um, here I've got different meshes from food. I don't remember what that is in, but that'll make a really good print. A bag. Here's another different type of bag, a little different. This one's a little bit different too. And this one. There's a smaller one, a little bit smaller mesh. What is your Facebook channel? Uh, it's just Kathy Arbor on uh, Facebook. There should be a bunch of different pictures of flowers and art on it. You don't have to um, ask to friend. I, it's just open to anybody. So you can just go in, take a look. Um, if you're in, um, if you've joined my membership, there is a private Facebook group. Go on the community page. The link is there for you if you want to join. I know there's a few people that haven't joined yet. And it's just a place where I can, we can talk if you need some help with something. If you want to show me what you're doing, it's a safe place to show your art. We've got two inches in two hours this morning. And it is, oh, you're getting the rain from that tropical storm. Or is it a hurricane now? <clears throat> okay, Candy. Let's see. I am guessing you are not a flood zone. You are in a flood zone? Oh. Well, I hope the rain stops. You got a ladder? <laughs> And get on your roof. Here's 
Here's another thing. This um, embroidery mesh is great. And this is a <laughs> this is a placemat. But it's a one of those big plastic ones and these would be cool. So I got this and I could actually cut this up. Cardboard, of course, or corget, sorry, Paula. <laughs> and I got these textured mats at Michael's quite a long time ago. It's, it's that foam stuff, but they all have a texture to it. So you could use these too. And there's, there's a bunch of different textures on them. Dots. Lines. So look, you know, when you're shopping, think about this type of thing. If you do a lot of jelly printing, because it, it really adds to your arsenal. <laughs> also, you can add this plastic stuff. This would make really cool prints, too. So that's what we're going to do today is just play and see what we can uh, do with all this stuff. I also have a bunch of stencils. So I got, I just took out mostly my smaller ones, a few that I, with small, um, I don't want large openings with this because I'm going to be using it in these file folders. So I want something small. So I got a bunch of these. Oh, here's, here's another folder I started. And this is that I had leftover gel medium. So I just put it through that stencil I had. So it's very shiny, but it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, another thing, throw these on, these plastic letters from Heidi Swap. Why not? Could make your own <laughs> stencil of some sort with that, or a mask actually. So you could use those. Could also use um, these are all wood pieces. I think I got these at one of our craft places. An axe, <laughs> hammer, nails, a bunch of different um, shapes. These are good for when you're doing multi-layered jelly printing. That type of thing. Squares. It's all kinds. Janet would make bad words using it. <laughs> so these are nice because they last forever. Some hearts. I don't know what this was supposed to do. Oh, I think it was a snowman or something. I don't know. Then I have this with the wheel or the um, cogs. Different sizes. Some are doors. Doors and windows. You could do stuff like that. Fences. So we could do use those. 
Isn't somebody doing a door book or something? Was it called? Uh, oh, no, it was a uh, Colleen and uh, Kathy are doing a house book, wasn't it? Uh, I want some doors and windows. Are you doing that, Eileen? The doors and windows book? These are so cute. So we could use these. Okay. So go through your stash, take a look, see what you have, and then just play with them, see what happens. doing something. Might use some of those. So I think now these are the papers I used. It was just scrapbook paper. Um, very thin stuff. So I'm going to be I think I'm going to jelly print on these too. Because I want a little bit of um, different I want to, um, what do you call it, one color that goes through them all. So I think we'll try some of these first. So I'm going to use some stencils. So let's see. Um, I want some. Okay, chat isn't moving on my pop out. <laughs> Are you guys still there? Yeah, I think you're still there. Just a minute. Just checking. I'm having problems with this chat. Again. Okay, I had it on. <laughs> I had it on top chat. No wonder. Duh. All right, so I think I'm going to do a little bit of black to start. So I have this uh, ivory black. I can start on here first. Paint starting to starting to go. It smells funny. So I just have some newspapers on the side there that I'm using. So 
try it this way first and then we'll try it the other way also. Hey, Teresa. What would... Hmm. Well, what do they call them? The wood cutouts. Is there a special name for them? I'm not a scrapbooker, so whatever <laughs> you guys. There. It's just stuff like this. Doesn't have to be real fancy or anything. Um, let's get a piece of... I think that's tracing paper. Get the rest of off. You can use the tracing paper too. See? And then I'm going to put this on here. See what happens. And then we'll use this piece. It's just not crazy. You're not a scrapbook either. Hey, Sandra. Sandra. Uh, where did I put him? I have had these a long time, but Eileen wants some. <laughs> Have you ever seen these doors and windows? There's, they're wood. I don't know what you would call them. There's cogs and different things, different size windows. Oh, that's cool. That one's cool. See, it started to uh, separate a bit, but I like that. That's neat. I like this too, this stencil. Different. I like different. Um, let me put my... I got different papers too here. This is just tissue paper. I think I'll leave that. Let's try another. As we'll use this paint up. It's not just starting to go, I think. Let's use the paper. Do 
we get the print on the tissue paper. And these guys. I don't know if they'll print anymore or not. And then we'll use this one here. to tell you. So there's that. Let's take this up. Actually, I think I'm going to throw a bunch of these down here. And then I'm going to throw on some titanium white. We'll use some of this black paper that Eileen in enabled me. <laughs> I better start thinking of what I'm going to use this for. I have 500 sheets. They're just, uh, no, they're not stickers. They're just, I don't know what you call them. It just says alphabet. by Heidi Swap. Black. I think I'm going to put some... Oh, let's do this. Have some green tissue paper. Why not?
another piece of do a dark one. So here's a dark piece of paper. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think actually I think I'm gonna do some negative drawing with um white charcoal pencil or maybe white uh pan pastels that type of thing so just just grungy pieces of paper is what i want nothing special okay, let's Let's dry that a little bit. Color. I think I'm going to go titanium. I'll see what how it turns out. It's going to be very grungy. one. All right. Paper. Oh, let's do it on. I wonder if Wrinkles, everything. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't stick to my thing. It's going to be grungy, but it's kind of cool, actually. Have to make sure you <laughs> the tissue paper is lays flat don't have any wrinkles in it because it won't come apart but that left a really cool design on my plate i like that so let's throw some more of these down And make sure they're good and stuck so they don't come up. And then I'll use the black. Let's 
see. I'm going to leave those numbers on, just see what happens. Hopefully it comes up. <laughs> yeah. Some of the letters stuck to the paper. <laughs> oh, tore the paper, but hey, it's okay. It's grungy. Another grungy piece. I need a drying rack. I gotta put this over here. Okay, this time I think I'm going to leave those on and try it again with the black but this time I'll take off the letters All right. Now, let's dry. Oh, sorry, bumped you. Okay, we got this here. Let's try it, see what this does. Oh, I think I left the letter on. <laughs> How did you decide what to use? What do you mean, the color? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have two on. That's cool. So you kind of get the grainy look. Although there's some lines from the roller, but I kind of like that. Let's make it even more. So you got the black outline there. That's cool. That ah, gives me some ideas. Let's do this. You could spell something out too if you wanted to. So let's do black again. Um, whole combo of paper and color. Um, I'm always thinking of contrast. 
So you don't want to put dark co a color of paper with a dark color of um, paint. And I'm also thinking because this is going to um, leave the, the paint from being um, oops, released onto the paper I use, it's like a mask, you got to think it's going to show through. So like this one here, it's lighter than the black. Now, if I wanted to, let's do this. Cardboard. Let's put some cardboard. Make it really grungy. Okay, let's... Um, where did I put that? Paper. Okay. <laughs> God. Just lost the paper. Okay, here's another one. It's fairly light, so it'll do good. It's not too dark. Thanks, Dorothy. So see, it'll cover up most of the the black will cover up most of the um, paper, but you'll get what your letters are or anything else that you scrape out. So you kind of have to play with it. It's there's so many so many ways of playing with these. So now this is left a line around it, like my um, prints when I do plants um, so we can dry that This hair dryer's got a cool setting, so just to let you know. Now, what else can we do? Grungy. Well, we have some of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it down on here and then stamp it. I think I will put some this is titanium buff but I just want it in Just going to put that in there. I don't know if this will. Okay. I'm just going to take some of this up.
you can use these bits on things as collage, whatever. And I'll just take this up. Then we can stamp. Where's that? Okay, let's do gold on here. May as well. I'm going to dry this with my cool setting. have my iridescent bronze golden We're just going to use this scrapbook paper and see what happens. Now remember I had black on it, so as long as I have a black, a lot of black, instead of um, a light color, because this is kind of a medium shade, it'll show up. You're always looking for a contrast. Unless you want something very subtle, you can do that too. Eh, didn't come up, but I still like it. So still grungy. Got a little bit of shine. Let's try white. A light layer. Probably had too much paint on that last layer. The more paint you have, the less likely you'll get a complete pull of everything. Okay. And this paper here. It's very light. Yeah, I love the bronze too. That's the one that if you add a lot of water to it, you get your aquas that shows up in it. It's really neat. Maybe we'll try spraying some water on it to see what happens. Huh. I'm having trouble getting that all up for some reason. That's still neat though. It's grungy. So. Dry it. Let's see if that helps.
this is what it looks like underneath. So we could do buff on it. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get when you do jelly printing. <laughs> All right. Just for the heck of it, let's try a newspaper. better but not all but it's yep got most of it there you got a grungy newspaper so I'm gonna clean that with a baby wipe because I think you get you can get to a point where there's too many um, layers and it gets harder and harder to, to um, clean that surface do something with this one I think we could put some more stuff on it let's see maybe let's try some gold this thing. Where's my other? Well, I guess I'll just use it like this. Get some. See if I can transfer it. Gotta try things. Okay, um, there's my sprayer. I'm gonna spray this. See, you're getting the bits of aqua coming up. See what we get. Can you see the aqua? So I didn't press that down, I just lightly placed it on and let it do its thing.
See the aqua? I really love this paint, how it does that. Let's see what we do if we squish it. Isn't that neat? Okay, so we, let's see if we put a little bit on here. I'll let it sit for a bit. See if it does. might have dried already. And if it dries, it doesn't do it as much. Let's try and pull that up as is on a white sheet of paper. Let's see what we get. Nope, didn't do anything. Okay, so we'll have to put paint on, so we'll let that dry a bit. Let's put some, what color should we use? Black. Get messy. Why not? Let's see what we do. Let's do white on this. What do you think? White? Mm. Any suggestions, people? Let's see what I got left in papers here. This here. It's 
got a lot of white on it. Hmm. Oh, we'll do white. See what happens. You never know. Now I know why I didn't like this roller. It must have a high edge on it or something. Let's put some white on there. this here and let's do this on this Playing and getting messy here. Hmm, I don't know. This one didn't come up. It must have been too dry. But I still like that. That's still cool looking. That's real grungy. It's okay. Nothing, nothing to write home about. <laughs> but you can do something with it. All right. Let's uh, wonder why this isn't. We'll see. Let's do black, I guess. Or, yeah, black. See if I can get any more off of this. Yeah, a little bit. Well, still leaving some. I think I need to really clean my plate. See, now this is a dark on dark, but you have your gold. It's very dark. But we could go back on top of this and add things to it.
see. What else can we put on there? Hmm. Let's put some white, a few dabs of white, and a few dabs of this. Actually, I think I'm just going to See what happens here. Sprayed it again, let it sit for a little bit. What else we got here? White paper. Let's see if, I wonder if tissue would be better. Let's see. You know, I think you see the blue in the um, white paper better. Let's see. That's neat. It's kind of neat. So you can see the, um, that's from the bag that you get your produce in. That's kind of cool. Bit of blue here. Now, I wonder if I put a different kind. Let's try craft paint, see what happens.
There's black, green, and Americana. Chat's gone weird again. I'm in there, refresh there. Okay. Okay, I miss Deborah. Kathy, hi. Who else? Anyone else that's new? Excuse me, but my chat's been acting wonky today. <laughs> Oh, the wooden doors? Yeah, they're like years old. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I got them at, it was called, um, let me think. It's still there, but I don't know if they still have them. See? There's, and there's windows, different size windows. They're all wood cogs and stuff like that. What was it? Stamp. It's called the Stampede. Is it the Stampede? Uh, I can't think of it right now. I'm not sure if it's Stampede or... I'll look it up and see if they still carry them. They probably ship to the U.S. They're out of of uh, Guelph. Well, at least that cleaned it up mostly. That green's kind of nice. I like the green, but it's very gringy. So let's put some more of these letters on. And let's do white this time. So I'm just going to. Oh, that's cool. So you get your. Hmm, that's interesting.
I'm just going to take a little bit of this off. Not much. Kind of like the how it. This one was really dark. Maybe I will take these off. Dry it. And then let's dry it. take I want it a little more grungier so there's some areas oh I guess it is all dry so let me think What color? Let's do some more of this. Neat. 
So you got your little bit of the black showing through from the leftovers. Now let's do a little bit of white cleanup. So you have the stuff happening there. Let's see what happens if I smush it. Well, that's cool. You get the spray marks. That's neat. So now, what have we got on the bottom? It's got a lot of black in there. So let's do white. Is it dry? Yep. Oh, better. Better give it a shot. Another grungy one. With some glitter. Okay. That gold.
Nope. Didn't take much. Well, some of it, but mostly the gold. And, but it'd be a good starter. You can add stuff to it. So I'm going to take a baby wipe and clean this one. It's pretty stuck on there. So good to get that off. But I do like that the aqua that comes out of that bronze. I just used uh, another one that was kind of blah just to take some of that up. Well, use it up. No point in wasting. You never know what you're going to get. You might come up with something cool. All right. Let's try this. else can we do here? How about it's not quite dry. Try it more.
Okay, let's put, let's try using some of these. So, I have a bucket of water. Um, so if I want to put black, maybe. And... I'm just going to use this uh, sticker waste to put my paint on. I'm running out of room here. <laughs> Let's see. Where can I? Holy moly. So I don't want to put it down there. Hold on. I'm just going to roll it on there. See what I get. So it's like a stamp. What else we got here? Could just do wood pieces use them as a stamp What else? Some waves. That will take up any or not. We will find out. Oh. 
sounds cool. Be a good one for using on the landscapes. Let's mix some. This green. White. Let's see what we get. I'm just going to get a sponge if I can find one. That. What else? probably do it on this one although I like that one for rocks that would be cool maybe we'll use this so let's dry that and we'll put
right. Now, what color? I want something that's not too... Because I want to see this paper through it. So, I think I might put in... So I have white, gold. Let's see what this looks like. Black. How about a green? No, it's already green though. Hmm. Maybe I just need a acrylic. Glazing. Maybe. I wonder if that would work. Hmm. Or zinc white might be okay. Let me look. We'll try the zinc white because it's translucent. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'll do this one first. be a awesome one or it could be a fail well not necessarily a fail because you can always add to them and fix them mm, too much pattern but it will be good for rocks and uh, landscapes okay so if that's the case I probably just want to do it in buff maybe and do it on white I think mind it. That goodness. Let's see. Let's try 
a blue maybe. Let's see what happens. It's a craft paint. Eileen, it's fun doing it to see just to see what you're gonna get. You never know. You always find new interesting things too when you're playing like that golden. Uh, where is it? Irid iridescent bronze fine. It's called. This is pretty. I like this. With the blue. It's kind of a slate blue with a bit of It's hard for you guys to see, but it's pretty. All right. Now I did like it when Make sure they're down. black on here. Look at that. That's cool.
blue. Let's dry that. on that I guess. Hopefully it comes up. That's not bad. Cool. That's neat. Do this one in blue, see what happens. Yeah, I was going to take another pole, but I won't. Grungy, but I still like it. Let's see. Let's do another one of those. That was cool.
it's not doing it as much on this. It needs to be a fairly open design, I think. Let's see what else I got here. That's cool. Neat. Now I wonder if I put No, I was thinking of sparkles on the water, but nope. Okay, this one's a mess. Let's see what we can fix it with. Maybe just a grunge painting. Try that scribble. gonna do a light because I want it grungy. Oh that's cool. So I just took a little bit of it off. Then let's dry that. It's just going to pull with white.
All right. Actually, let's pull it with one of these. Just the perfect size. TV. Thanks for coming. This is my last pull pretty well anyway, so let's put that on the wet paint. like writing on a wall or whatever or on a windshield that's what it reminds me of <laughs> you know someone writes on your windshield in the rain or in the foggy day that's what it kind of reminds me of Nice grungy. Let's get some more of that up with some tissue. See what happens. So the all of these I'm making are for landscapes that we're going to be doing in the Blooming Artists lesson this uh, on the 31st. So if you want to make some jelly prints kind of in earthy tones, greens, um, purples, that type of thing. You can have light and dark. It doesn't have to be all dark. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to use this. And um, all the information is up on the community page. I think that needs more. And if you're interested in it at all, you can just press on the join button and it'll uh, bring you to a page where it tells you everything. And then you can decide whether it's the right thing for you. So I hope this inspired you to get out your jelly print or scrapbook papers and Play a little bit. And you don't need special paper. You can even use uh, newspaper. We'll do it. Oh, this is cool. So you just play with your whatever you can find. You can find any kind of mark making. Um, tools that you have. Just make sure it's not sharp because you don't want to pierce your jelly plate at all. But yeah, just experiment. That's how you find out neat things. And you can always paint over these papers. So they're really not going to waste. Um, if I got, I probably have enough time. I'll show you what you can do with some of these papers that you're not that thrilled about. 
We'll just clean these up and then I'll show you. You can paint on them. You can use them for collage. You can draw on them. This is what I was using it for is to make this area here and in here. So with these, this is just the straight, ordinary scrapbook paper. And then I did glazes on it. But if you want to make your own pattern jelly paper, that would be great too. Because these will, this can be used for landscape. You just cut it up. You wouldn't know it was birds. It could be part of the water, could be part of the mountain. This one here could also, you just have to play with the design. Now I've stuck with um, small pattern for this particular uh, bunch of jellies. Um, See what else we got here. This would be great on its own. Be a great starter for a landscape because you got the blue on the top and the darker on the bottom. This would be great for mountains. Could also use it for in here. Um, you can use it for piecing um, rocks, tree branches, or in the uh, distant background. Instead of having this tree bare, you could also rip up areas. and have leaves on your tree. There's so many ways of using this. So um, don't, you know, get rid of stuff that you think you're not going to use. Also, you could use this for clothing would be great. If you're doing people, um, get a magazine cut out heads, and then you could um, cut out a bunch of dresses that you want to do, and then you just shade them. So these are the things I want to show you how to use. So I know there's so many people, they love jelly printing, but what are they going to do with <laughs> the 10 million jelly prints? This is what I like to do. Is I use them in my mixed media. They can be parts of hair. They could be backgrounds it's it's endless what you can do so i hope you enjoyed that and got some ideas uh any questions yes safia grunge is good you can put it anywhere <laughs>
Community page of what? Nothing on the community YouTube page. Um, all thumbs. Have you? Are you watching on um, an iPhone or anything Apple? Because there is a problem viewing it on any kind of Apple product. You have to go through um, Safari or Chrome, and not through the app. Your YouTube app will not work. You'll have to go through Chrome to see it. Because right, right below this, the window, there sh you should be able to see um, join. And that'll take you to what um, the membership is. And also on um, my community page. All right. You have to belong to the uh, membership to have this lesson. And it's the blooming artist level. You're welcome. Hey, Judy. Good to see you. All right. So I'm going to let you guys go. I don't see any other questions. And sorry if I missed anything from you, but my chat hasn't is all wonky today. For some reason, I haven't been able to see half of your stuff. But um, yeah, stay creative and just experiment and have fun. And we'll see you next week. Have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.